Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be talking about a what's new feature in 2019 called the Remove Sections. Now here before me, I have a modern looking wrench that I actually designed. What I'm going to be doing is, of course, I want to create a drawing from it. So I'll go ahead and click here on the drop down arrow next to the blank piece of paper and make a drawing from it. I'll use a B-size ANSI template. Now once there, right, I'm going to pin down my task paint here where the view palette is at and I'll go ahead and select the front view. From here I'll lay all the views that I want, I'll get a top view, a view here to the right, maybe we'll put an isometric view right here. Now traditionally I would have gone to the section view, right, and I want to get just a slice view from the inside of this guy, right, of the front view here. I would have clicked OK, right, and here instead of just getting the section view, I would have have to have clicked on here where it says slice section. Now, I don't have to do that anymore. For 2019, SOLIDWORKS has introduced removed section. What that's going to allow me to do is to be able to go back, so I'll undo what I just did, and now I have the option to grab slice sections directly from remove section. So I can go ahead and click on remove section. And all it's going to ask me is to select two opposing sides. So I select this left side here, select this right side over here. And for the cutting line placement, I can either leave it automatic or manual. When I do automatic, for the most part, it's going to give me an angle, as so. And then I just drop it in. Now note, you'll see a difference right away that when you do a slice section this way, there is no node area or reference going back to where your parting line's at, right? You have to go ahead and if you want to add that, do it through a note. So here I just did it automatically, right? I let SOLIDWORKS do it. I click the two opposing sides. But in case I don't want my slice section to be at an angle, I can always go back, go into my remove section. Again, just select two opposing sides. So select this side again like that. And instead of leaving it automatic for the cutting line placement, I can always just click here where it says manual. Once placed, I can go ahead and select exactly where do I want it. Let's say I put it here, and then I can put it at an angle. For now, I just want it to be horizontal, and I get my slice section like this. See that? So this one here, by doing manually, I was actually able to go ahead and make it horizontal. Versus here, when I placed it, it was at an angle. So again, in SOLIDWORKS 2019, a new remove section has been added and it helps us do it. So it's very easy. I can just go ahead and click remove section and from there select my two opposing sides. And after that, I can either go automatic or manual. If you have any tips or tricks regarding how to put down, how you do your slice sections, go ahead and put it down in the comment section and give us a like. Thank you.